Hi, Rick here from Marva Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to be talking about charging your Mavic batteries. I'm going to show you how to get them all linked up and how to charge them. But before I do, I would like to talk about the battery itself, how best to get the life out of the battery uh, and how to maintain your batteries. Because all too often, not on the Mavic obviously, because it's still very new, but on Phantom 3s and 4s, we sometimes get customers that maybe have hardly used their batteries but the batteries are about six months old and then the battery gives out. Now, the thing to watch out with DJI is they only give the batteries between three to six months warranty so if you don't look after them you can end up where the battery is not going to work anymore you've hardly used it and of course the warranty won't cover it. So the first thing about a battery um, is that there's a lot more going on in a DJI smart battery than meets the eye. First thing is is you've got three cells so this is an 11.1 volt battery which basically means you've got three LiPo cells. Now, here's the weird part is in every battery there is a charger and that's the smart bit of the DJI batteries and this goes with all DJI batteries. So when you apply power to the connector, you're not supplying power as a charger is supplying power. You're actually just supplying power like a power supply because the charger is actually built into the battery and every battery has one and that would be the same for the Mavic or any other DJI uh, smart battery product and that's why the batteries are so expensive because you get a charger with every one and what the charger does is it balances the cells inside the battery so it tries to make sure all three individual cells in the battery are all level so that is the first thing the second thing is is how to get the best from your battery how to make your batteries last longest now as i said before actually a lack of use is actually a bad thing but storage is probably the most trickiest thing because we had a lot of people phone us up in March saying I don't understand it I put my battery away uh, at the end of the flying season I've dug it out four months later and it's no longer working <coughs> whoops and <laughs> and uh, the most common reason for that is they've not been stored correctly so two ways you do not want to store a DJI battery first one is flat and the other one is actually fully charged although the newer smart batteries will actually auto discharge themselves it's always a good idea to put them into storage charge yourself. What well, storage charge is, is between 40 and 60% charge is a good way to store them. Now, here's the thing though, even if you're going to store them and you've got the correct storage in them, it's also not a good idea to literally leave them like that for large periods of time. So for say six months, that is not gonna be good for the battery. So what you should really do if you wanna get the best out of your batteries, Ideally, once a month or even once every two months, if you just take the battery out, charge it up, put it in the craft, flatten it down, then charge it back up between 40 and 60%. If you do that with each of your batteries, as I say, even if it's every two months, but ideally every month over the winter when you're not using it, or as I say, for a long layup, you will get a lot more out of your battery. Because I've got customers that have got hundreds of chargers in a battery, they're still going strong. Generally, they're commercial operators, so they're using it regular. So even way more chargers going through a battery is better than just a few chargers going through a battery over a long period of time. So that is just a handy hint on how to get the best of your battery. But now we'll go on to how to actually charge the battery in the Mavic and how to charge the battery in the Mavic's controller. And if you have got the Fly More package, I'll show you how to use the charging hub as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got everything here that we're needing to charge. We've got our batteries, we've got our controller, we've got our charger, and of course, if you get the Fly More package, you're going to have the charging hub. So, we'll just cover as if you were charging the batteries on their own. So, of course, first of all, need our charger. You have your battery. Now, it's not a keyed connector. The charging connector can actually go in either way. It can go in that way, or it can go in that way. So, you don't need to worry about getting it the right way around. When you put it on to charge, and the charger starts, we will get a set of scrolling lights. There we go, down the back there to show you that it's charging. And when the battery is fully charged, which will take around an hour, uh, they will go out. In fact, I think it has gone out. This battery is probably already fully charged. So, moving on, if you've got the charging hub, which will charge four batteries, not at once, but one after the other, you've got the same connector in the bottom just show you that so that will just clip in there into there cable out the side and then their batteries just clip around the outside so one on two on 
and three on. So as you can see here, we've got this battery charging first. In fact, what it's done there is actually trying to figure out which battery's got the most charge. So it looks like this one's got the most charge in it, so it's going for that one first, and then it'll move around in sequence. So that's the battery's charging, and then to charge the controller, your USB cable here plugs into the USB sockets on the charger, like that, and then uh, where the lightning cable goes into the controller, this is where we're actually going to plug it into. Now the connector is the socket in it, and you see that is actually quite square, and obviously that is not square. So there's a wee tag in there down to the one side of it, like there is on there. So when you plug it in, if it doesn't feel like it's going to go in, if I take that out and go the wrong way, it'll just not go in. So don't force it, and then that will go in like that and then on the display you will get charging and this i believe takes around about two hours although you'll probably not flatten this completely so it probably won't take two hours to charge so there you have it that is us all charging out charging up for our next mavic outing okay i hope you found that video on how to deal with your mavic batteries and how to look after them helpful and I hope you enjoyed the video, but my videos don't make themselves and they do take a lot of time, so I do need your support. So, if you're looking to buy your DJI products, if you look down in the description, you'll see a couple of links. One to my store, which if in the UK you can use. If you're not in the UK, you can use my DJI affiliate link and they'll pay me a little moistler amount of commission uh, as a DJI credit, not as cash, uh, on every time someone clicks on it and uh, uses that link to purchase their goods. Uh, uh, once again, of course, if you do like my videos, please share them about. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well and you'll get notified every time I make a new one. Thank you very much. Bye.